Good evening, my name is Garrett and welcome to The Last Call. On tonight's Versus, we have Wild Turkey Rye coming in at a 50.5% ABV, no official age statement, versus Russell's Reserve Rye coming in at a 45% ABV, at least six years old. So I'm a big Wild Turkey fan, I think between their profile and what they're bringing to the table, the availability, they're a great bottle to always keep around on the shelf. My big question was, what's the big difference in profiles from the Wild Turkey 101 rye and the Russell's Reserve? I tend to lean heavier into the Russell's Reserve personally from memory, but I wanted to put them up against each other in case you're shopping around and really kind of curious. So we're gonna talk about color, notes, taste, wrap it up in the market price section and maybe pick a winner. So let's go ahead and get into it. And as always, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hang around for a bit, become a member if you'd like. Either way, if you're interested in some other reviews of Wild Turkey's products of the Russell's Reserve lineup or just their standard Wild Turkey lineup, they'll be linked up above and down below. I think so far the only thing I don't have uh, of their core lineup is the uh, single barrel pick of the Russell's Reserve, which I'm trying to get a hold of one. Color-wise, the 101 is a sh couple shades darker. Just lightly, but it's noticeably different. Didn't expect that. I was actually expecting the uh, Russell's Reserve to be a little darker just because of its age. Guess not. So, let's start on notes for the 101. Oh, that is fresh. It's got a beautiful rice spice. Nice corn layer going on in there as well. The spiciness is subtle. It's not your typical rye punch, like if you're used to like Indiana rye, where it's got that more herbal medicinal. This has just got a nice floral and a spiciness to it. Get a little bit of the oak vanilla caramel going on. Surprisingly, not a lot of ethanol. My first time I remember having this, it was fairly potent in the ethanol area, but very easy on the nose. The rye build must be just, you know, right around that 51% rye or not super high in my opinion. It just doesn't have that big burst of rye that you're kind of used to in a higher build. But this is definitely a great example of a crossover if you're more of a bourbon drinker and you want to kind of dabble in the rye. You're going to get a lot of those classic bourbon notes, but that bit of rye spice in there really does show up. Let's go for notes on the Russell's Reserve. Now here, they kind of started off a little similar, but it instantly, you got a stronger, more herbal and a little bit of medicinal going on there for the rye, but definitely more herbal. A little fruity as well, like apples or orchard fruits. Get that nice spice in there. I see now going back to here, okay, that's interesting. Going back to here, you get a little bit more of the youth on the nose now. It's not bad, but you can definitely tell in between the two here, this has got a little more character. It's got a little more age and it's got a little more refinedness to it. It's not a word, but I'm going to use it. And there's a little more youth, almost like a, a little bit more dustier youth note going on there for the wild turkey. Beautiful fruit, though. I love how fruity that nose is. The spices there, the herbal. This is definitely a stronger rye than the 101 when it comes to the rye notes. But overall, neither of them have a strong ABV, no harshness, no off notes. The only big difference, this goes a little softer in the rye and a little stronger in the youth notes. We're here you're getting a little more of the herbalness of a rye. Still really good though. Let's go for taste on the wild turkey. It's good. It's a little bitey. Uh, it's got a little bit more of uh, that Kentucky hug on there. It's got a little bit more sting on the palate as well. But you get some nice solid rye characteristics, like freshly cracked rye grains. And you get a little bit of corn sweetness in there as well. The proof is warming. <laughs> That's not a no slouch there. And here in the finish, I'm getting a little bit of like almost like a, a tea note. Just a little bit of a light black tea. I love finding that note. It's really a solid sip. It is a little strong, so if this is your first time sipping on a rye, especially at its higher proof, 
It's got a little more bite to it. But besides that, very classic. You're getting those beautiful wood sugars going on in there. The little bit of caramel and vanilla. I'm also picking up almost a peanutty, dusty note. Might be from that corn youth. It's possible. But it's very light here in the finish. It's not overpowering. It's not like a Jim Beam nuttiness. But just a little bit of nuttiness in there. And just a nice, simple, spicy rye. All right. Let's go for taste on the Russell's Reserve. Honestly, they're very similar. This has a little more character to it, and I think it's because of its age statement. The spice coming through is a little more herbal, and you get a little more fruitiness, and you're getting those beautiful kind of caramelization going on here from the cask. You're bringing in that, that oak vanilla caramel, bringing almost a creaminess to it. There's no ABV burn on this one. There's no Kentucky hug. That is an easy sipping Russell's Reserve. I love that spice layer. It's a little herbal, maybe just a couple percentages of a medicinal into it. But overall, spicy. It's got earthiness going on. The cask itself, again, you're getting that kind of uh, the, the charry layers going on in there. That's a really solid sip. Definitely going back to the 101. There's a lot of similar characteristics here. The biggest thing for me is you're not getting as big of the burst of rye where it's going a little more simple, more classic bourbon with a bit of rye in there. And that little bit of a peanutty note going on. And again, that might be just from its youth. Both are really solid. I was a little concerned because again, I was not a big fan of this when I first had it. Now coming back to it, I'm appreciating it a little bit more. As always, it doesn't matter what you drink or how you drink it, as long as you enjoy it. Both are really solid, but Let's talk about market price, because we all know market price is market price, and it's always gonna vary. So in my market, I can usually find this right around that mid-20s range, anywhere between 25 to 28, sometimes to 24 to 22. Whereas the Russell's Reserve, I could find as cheap as 30, sometimes 35, sometimes 45. It really is across the board at different pricing. And I'll be honest, if this is 25 and this is 30, I'd pick up the Russell's Reserve. I think it's a great sip for its price point. Now, if this is 25 and this is 35, I might go back over here. This is going to be a great one if you're looking to do cocktails, mixers, or again, kind of getting into rye. Now, because of the Russell's Reserve being a little bit into that 30 to 35 range in some markets, upwards plus, it's still a great sip. Rye whiskeys tend to cost a little bit more anyways. But at the end of the day, they're damn close. And I don't think you can go wrong with either sip. Again, if this was cheaper and this was a little more expensive, treat yourself. Get yourself that Russell's Reserve because I think it's a great sip. However, if this is 25 and this is 35, 40, this isn't too bad. I would still work your way back up to this one, but start off on the 101. There's some good characteristics there. As long as you can take that hug it brings, it's a really solid sip too. So there you have it, folks. Wild Turkey 101 Rye versus Russell's Reserve six-year-old rye. If you have questions about either bottle, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific bottles I should put up against each other, also let me know down below. I love doing these A-B comparisons. Let's me learn and hopefully helps you make a decision when you're at the shelf. And as always... May your last trick of the night be the best one.